So I run the Bill of Rights Defense Committee, but before that I started a group called the DC Guerrilla Poetry Insurgency. We spit lyrics to set your body and spirit free. And I'm here to remind you how we got what we already won. I'm talking about social security. I'm talking about women's suffrage. I'm talking about the end of slavery, right? How we got what we already won is what you are doing right here today. Until Rosa took a stand on a bus in hostile land, threw everybody's hand, stayed in service to one kind of man, right? One brother would get literally, like, hanged. The next one run out of town. Look around now, something has changed. But do you remember how? Even though equal opportunity is still and will continue to be a fantasy, our corporate gentry entrenching where we'll all be for generations, there's still a lot more participation by people of all sorts in the wealth of this nation than before. Don't get me wrong, I'm not denying there's not more to be done. I am reminding you how we got what we already want. Communities like these, bringing entire countries to their knees. <laughs> Dictators, kings and queens fleeing in the night. Dreams of a better day brought out into the light. I'm talking about liberty, egalité, fraternité, these words. We say to conjure the spirit that back in the day resisted. We all have a million ways to unwind all these twisted institutions, spreading disillusion, born of widespread societal confusion. Folks be seeking cold fusion, forgetting the revolution. But we, the 99%, we offer a solution to the way, the 99%, we offer a solution to the way our country keeps on abusing the various social groups. We always end up using, we just gotta stand up, step together. We, the people, united, we will forever achieve everything we believe. Let's start with a little peace, come on. If you care, get out of your chair. If you give a damn, then take a stand. And if you're tired of control by corrupt factions like you're doing today, take action. I said, if you care, get out of your chair. If you give a damn, take a stand. And if you're tired of control by corporate factions, take actions. You're feeling frustrated, berated, maybe hated by this faded parody of democracy, ridden by maladies, political illnesses all through our society. Stillness at the polls on the day of elections. So we're stuck under a government in need of corrections. Corporations by the vote. So we all bear the yoke of a culture that devalues dissent. So if we want to make a dent, we've got to open up the vent. See, we've already been bent to the will of a civilization built by indoctrination. Propaganda asks for information, you get handed party lines, sound bites every nine seconds. And whenever it seems like you're getting objective data, you're still suffering from selections. It's like coleslaw instead of potatoes, except it's the decisions of which perspectives make the best omissions. So we're all missing half the story. Whatever the corporate media thinks is boring because it won't sell, but then who's going to tell people about the theories we need to interpret all these eerie events happening yearly to alert us to issues that nearly escape attention, like media consolidation, concentration of income, building wealth stratification, narrowed representation on the political spectrum, undermining electoral sophistication. I'm talking about debates between candidates, pulling bait and switch rhetorical tricks. Political kicks, positions contrived to support the sticks. The United States is sick, y'all. And we, we, we as citizens, we are the only people on this planet of six billion people who have a chance at fixing it. So if you can, get out of your chair. If you give a damn, take a stand. And if you're tired of control by corrupt factions, take action. I said, if you can. Get out of your chair. If you give a damn, then take a stand. And if you're tired of control by fascist factions, take action. You go home, you watch the TV news, you get inundated by the views of the mainstream, the moderate, the conservative middle that got skewed to the right by historical riddles. You'd be fiddling with your computer on the web and you found yourself appalled at the truth you just read. You said to all your friends who'd lend you their ear how every US president should have everyone over the planet Feeling fear near, middle and far, we be marring the international reputation of what could be a proud, wonderful nation. We've been struggling over history to seek enlightened policies to be a polity that reflects not just liberty, right, but also bona fide democracy, equality. These are the values we are all taught to believe. 
These are the values we should see reflected institutionally where I live in D.C. And if you agree with me, join us in the streets if you can. If you're tired of control by corrupt factions, take action! If you can, get out of your chair! If you give a damn, take a stand! And if you're tired of control by fascist factions, take action! Keep it live, Portland. All right. We are the 99%! Come on, I said we are the 99%! Yeah, we are!